what I said in court was that I believe the evidence in the complaint is equally as capable of reaching the conclusion that Mr. Rana was unwitting, did not know uh, what plans Mr. Headley had in his head. And, and I think that's, uh, you know, I can tell you, you can read the complaint for yourself, but I think that's a conclusion that can be easily drawn from the complaint. Can you sum up on what basis he didn't know? The basis that they don't have evidence of his knowledge. And I, I don't think it's there in the complaint. And if you look at the, the conversations between Mr. Headley, individual A, and the other individuals, not Mr. Rana, are are much more detailed conversations where I, I think you might be able to draw the conclusion that somebody had knowledge, but not with Mr. Rana. So you're saying he was on... My understanding of the prosecution's position was that the this, this offense is particularly serious because there were there was in the mind of at least one of the persons a plan to kill people and to uh, maybe bomb a building, which obviously is very serious. What I pointed out, my rejoinder was that there isn't any allegation or any evidence in the complaint that Mr. Rana was aware of that. Of that. It's uh, the major news story currently in Denmark. Of course, everybody is worried that uh, that this situation has unfolded and uh, and are anxious to hear more and know what are the threats against uh, our newspaper. Do you know Mr. Westergaard? Uh, I've only met him briefly, very briefly. One of his friends has said that he would do it again. Most likely. He's a very uh, stubborn guy and he, uh, he has his opinion and, uh, and I'm sure he'll be ready to fight for them anytime. Can you tell us about security measures at the newspapers? Have no. They been used up? No, we're not going to go into security measures at all. Have they been beefed up automatically going light of this? We have uh, security measures based on the Danish national security uh, intelligence and they have been followed all through this process. I know him about 14 years, since um, 1995 when they moved in. Uh, um, as far as what happened, I never really knew any of this was all news to me. And it's um, a shock, you know, they were very nice people and it's a shock to hear this situation.